Welcome Pisces to your daily love reading for July 19th to the 24 hours. <laughs> Not, I was about to say the 19th to the 20th, but it's going to be for 24 hours. So for today, um, let's see what's going on with you. The energy can, you know, travel for, um, you know, longer than that, but we'll see what's going on. So Pisces for July 19th. Over our energy for Pisces and love. July 19th. So we do have a lot of stress. Now, for some of you, this is where you're not wanting to be bothered by a, your romantic partner. You could be kind of removing yourself from an equation, a situation. Just, um, I feel like this is, say somebody, this is you wanting to go to battle. You know, you have a lot of things to say to somebody. And this is right here where you don't have things to say. You do, but you feel that it's best that you don't bring up certain things or that you don't say things because what you say could really sting it could kind of cut you know sharp so um, a lot of you are um, angry or maybe just volatile in your own world with um, towards a um, specific person all right um, so let's see um, person or energy coming towards you for Pisces so that person is feeling like you're feeling in some way so this is them being a bit paranoid not wanting to commit um, feeling like other people might be watching them whatever it might be it could be their own insecurities and doubts that could be going through but this is them kind of standing back you know um so both of you are kind of giving off that energy all right and it could be a fire sign so i'm dealing with an air sign for some um so let's see the what is your response <laughs> what is your response so you're kind of just uh waiting kind of looking at that person you see how <laughs> you see how they are kind of looking they're kind of down a bit they might be down and you're looking at them like like why are you doing that though why are you acting that way and they may not even have an explanation for it they may not even give you an explanation and you might not give them one as well now when i mention the knight of swords in reverse that doesn't have to be your energy it could be the other person it could be just an experience that both of you are going through right now so that could be the case and i can almost see as well it's almost like three people say um, somebody is kind of behind your partner in some way and they kind of have a lot to say to them and they're kind of turning their back on that person you know looking towards you in some way but not able to really communicate right now because energetically something is kind of following them around that's what it might seem like in some way all right so let's see the let's see what is the um, advice for Pisces whoa okay <laughs> We do have um, two issues where there are issues with maybe an Aries that you're dealing with. And then you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is meaning if you feel that there's something stressful, something not right in your situation, you don't address it. You don't really mention it. You don't bring up the topic. And that's unhealthy, you know. But I feel like a lot of you need to maybe walk away, get away from something that's not really working out for you. That might be unhealthy. Um, the Emperor is also stability as well. And there might not be stability between you two. Um, where you two are working on something together, communicating, being honest, you know, doing the right thing. Where they're not control tactics, control issues, or just some um, unhealthy kind of behavior. So this is being stuck in a situation like you want to leave, but you're feeling like you can't leave or you're kind of looking back at the past in some way so again two people <laughs> looking away from one another so that's an issue so you'd have a major arcana and those came out at the same time so and this is just for the day though so um think about it these energies can carry over all right now the outcome what is the outcome for Pisces? then you got the seven of wands and this is usually you standing up for yourself and getting ready to um, sometimes these things could be kind of lethal the things that you might say the things that you might be thinking about um, from them because of the behavior patterns or you know defending yourself especially if you stress somebody out if you did something wrong you're trying to explain the reasons why you've done what you've done why you're not wanting to commit um, whatever it is you might not want to commit to somebody who's giving off that kind of energy for some of you out there so let's see clarify the nine of wands in reverse for the person that you might be dealing with the person energy oh so that person it seems like they it seems like good things are happening between you two but there's no communication it's manipulation um they could be dealing with someone else that could be um 
control tactics, whatever it might be. They could be working around someone that they might not um, get along with. The King of Swords is in reverse. So whether it's someone in the, in the workplace, um, a manager, whoever it might be, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But manipulation, not communication, not being honest. But things, you know, are good with the Six of Wands showing there. So I feel like it's it's not a really bad thing, but manipulation is never good. And I don't, you know, like these cards when I see the Emperor in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Someone not telling the truth, being honest, not communicating. You know, those are issues. And that's why I feel like the Seven of Wands is coming out from either you or another person um, expressing how you feel about something or getting ready to express that feeling. All right. So. Let's clarify the uh, King of the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So yeah, so either sometimes these are financial things, um, issues around the home. If you are living with one another, the communication might not be there. Fights, arguments, and disputes, um, just kind of feeling um, restricted in some way with this connection. So these are not good cards to see you know i try to make the best of it try to make light of it but they are heavy these cards are heavy so let's see messages for pisces for july 19th romantic feelings it says your feelings are real and worth exploring and this is if you are romantically attached to somebody new um, if you're wanting to explore that connection but you can't because there might be that you're married you're with someone already um, someone else is with someone else you know um, already married to someone else and committed so one two three three people showing up here but I just get a picture of it that it might be some interference going on if it's a marriage or a commitment or a relationship or something right there it's kind of not working out so I feel like you ought to be patient with the six of wands showing up romantic feelings he says they're real so I feel like there's some good things going on but the tactics things that are not quite healthy need to be addressed and cleared out you know sometimes you don't have to address just walk away from it and give off um, that kind of energy and not being stuck you know so that's going to be your reading for the day tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one